Starting at your Locker home page, log in. This is your home page. Currently, there are no lockers set up. You will be able to see lockers that you are the owner of, as well as lockers that you are a member of. Click the Settings tab. First, click My Account. Set up a security question and answer. Also, you can update your email and password. Click Update Account to save changes. Login suffix. This is specific to your account. All users within your account will have the same suffix. If you want to change this, it is best to do so before creating users. Schools. The Schools section allows you to create schools which you can use to organize students. You do not have to create schools. There will be a generic No School Assignment for users not given a school. The school code is optional as this is only used when uploading users to specific schools. Edit Roles This section allows you to rename the four levels of users. Maybe your account is just for one school, so you can change the roles to Principal, Tech Coordinator, Teacher, and Student. You can also select which role types can create and edit lockers. Space Allocation This allows you to set the default space allocation per user type. You can also restore defaults at any time. File Types You can decide what file types to allow. Allow all teacher web supported file types, specify specific types, or do not allow file uploads. File size, max upload size. Here you can set maximum amounts based on the role type. Transfer speed. If you set up a school or multiple schools, you have the ability to regulate, download, and upload speed. Blank value means there are no restrictions. Trash management. Files that have been in the trash for X number of days are purged. The default and max number of days is 60 but you have the ability to adjust it to a shorter amount of time. Add user. This allows you to create an individual user. Upload user. This allows you to upload multiple users at a time using our provided Excel templates. View users. This will show all created users. Printable password list. This will show all users and correlated passwords. Add locker. This is where you can create a locker. View lockers. This will show a list of all created lockers.